All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rogue Legacy. We start at the very beginning of a new run, this time using an Archmage with the Time Stop, Chakram, and Scythe skills. We're once again going to be making our way over to the forest to attempt the boss over there and mostly skipping over things in our path other than that. We are using two pieces of the blood set, giving us some life back whenever we defeat a foe. Does make us kind of squishy, especially as a mage, but uh, hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. With time stop, we might be able to make a joke out of this boss. It might, it might be disgusting. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm hoping. And we get four health back. Ugh. We get four health back whenever we kill an enemy and six mana back because we're an Archmage. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to make it over to the forest. Take no damage. <gasps> Fuck! Oh my God, I was gonna stop time. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I was gonna stop time. I was just dropping down to see what it looked like down there. That sucks, dude. All right, big enemy, take it down. We'll grab this chest. Unfortunately, this is dead end, so I will meet you guys over there. Oh, big man, big man, big man. Whoop, whoop, time stop, time stop. He's like a mini boss. He's very scary. I'm totally okay using all of my mana here, and it doesn't really matter if I'm okay with it or not because it is all gone right fucking now. <gasps> Uh, do I start every video with just pure disappointment in my runs? That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. All right, we got another mage. We can increase our mana, and that's about it. We have the... What is this one called? Will it tell me here? Spell cycle. I don't know what this spell's called. But it's the one that sends the stuff out in every direction. Uh, that could clear out a room pretty well. Very expensive, 30 mana. Let's try to make our way back to the forest. I'll see you guys there. Hopefully this time it actually happens. Take no damage. Okay, there's one coming towards me. Jump back. That goes over my head. Okay, okay. Give it a little hop. Give it a little hop. These are both over my head. Whoo! Oh, a siphon rune for my sword. That means we could drain more H, uh, more more mana from enemies. Beautiful. That's very very good. This is a good run already, just because of that, dude. Just because of that. Whoo! Whoa, that was cheating, dude. Ah, so was that. Fuck. Oh, well, we've never encountered him before. The greetings, adventurer. I'm here you, uh, to give you a chance of a lifetime. For a measly sum of 25% of your current gold, I will give you a chance to open one of three chests. One chest will triple what you paid, and the other two are empty. We only have 300 gold. Go for the third one! You were lucky this time! Nice. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Let's hope that luck continues throughout the rest of the run. Beautiful. Full health, full mana. Oh, God, we got a journal. Journal entry six. I've never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies in an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched and the other on my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies behind each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. 
I don't know why he sounds like that. Just for the record. I don't I don't know dude. Ouch! Ouch! Alright, we've made it to the forest once more. I've been using the giant sword to kill a lot of the enemies, just kind of putting it in front of them and letting them walk into it. Uh, which has been working out relatively well. I mean, it's not too expensive. And it stacks of damage like that. So uh, I've been actually taking out quite a few foes with it, which has been pretty nice. Man, if I could get a siphon rune, imagine getting 15 mana back every time you kill someone with a spell. Oh, this is getting a little complex. Okay, no problem. Whoa, fuck! Woo! Not going down there. Although there is a chest in there. If I had time stop, I would 100% do that. But uh, we we ain't time stopping today. Oh. Okay, do these guys shoot diagonally yet? No, still just the star. Okay, excuse me. Um, back it up. Oh, shit. Not good. Uh, also, one hit there was like more than a third of my HP bar. Maybe whenever I get a mage, I gotta take off some of the blood set. Like, it's really nice to get that, that HP back. That's my controller. Really nice to get that HP back. But, uh, the deficit, the, the losing out on the maximum HP is a little much for me right now. We'll let him pass. That wasn't quite an even surface, so I couldn't just dash to the side. Ooh, change music. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! It's in here. Beautiful. What if we did the fireball for this guy? Swap it out right away. The fireball is very strong, but it has a very hefty channeling cost. That thing adds up so fast that I don't think it's really worth using the ability in a lot of cases. All right. We can just leave the room and come back. And then try to deal with that mage. Or remove this first. Leave, come back, deal with the mage. Whenever we leave a room like that, it is resetting the HP of an enemy. But that's okay. We got two chests out of it, dude. We're almost up to 3,000 gold in a run where I skipped almost everything. Another chest in this room. I'll just make a run for that real quick. Or will I? The issue with the sword versus those mages is they don't really move forward a lot like other enemies do. One more hit. There we go. I always do a, the double pass on those chests that are on those pressure points. To me, it feels like the safest way. Yeah, walk into that. Thank you. Thank you for not making me waste my entire mana bar. Careful, Padley. Okay, let's get that gold. We're looking for the boss room. We have not done an attempt on, on the boss this playthrough in the forest just yet. Oh, so you're only stuck with... Mm. Ooh. What the hell? All right, we're going to spend a little bit of mana here. Okay, one down. Nice! To oh, ouch! Wow, that got some value. Use about half of our mana bar. Imagine damage increase plus one. That's actually very helpful. So, our health isn't great. I'm just gonna spam again. Those will keep bouncing, those will keep hitting stuff. Hopefully there's enough enemies in here for it to actually continue to deal damage. It kind of looks like there is. They might be done bouncing now, though. Okay. Well, lucky for us, these guys are actually synced up pretty well. Those platforms only last for a little bit of time. Oh, no! Lady Henrietta, you had a great run. You did great things. I believed it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I have to show you this one. Uh, this is Vertigo. 
Our world will be upside down. I'm just going to stack some health here. Or should we unlock a new class? The Spell Thief. Hmm. You know what? Before... Oh, fuck. Um... Oh my goodness. Before we do any of that, let's buy this. Is that... Siphon. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That'll give us a little bit more mana back. Of course, we only have one blood piece equipped now. Which might mean that I want to craft another one. No effect. Vampirism. What's the weight on that? Yeah, we can wear that. Okay. I'm sure this will go fine. Let's increase our health by two. Okay. Um, I'm so fucked. I am so fucked. All right, here we go. All right, here, let's try, try to get to the forest. Do we want, oh God, it's a spelunker. We're super duper weak. Wait, is it? Cause I only got 12 gold from that, right? Or was it 15? Oh god. No, dude, I can't do this. No, dude, no. Oh my ah! I can't do this. No, dude. Just end it. Just end it. <laughs> Defeat all the enemies. Oh by the way, new character, it's a barbarian. Where her health and mana are reversed, so she has three hundred mana. <laughs> It's a lot. A bounty room for the cape. I think that gives us more money. I think so. Oh, goodness. Journal entry number seven. It is still night. Past every window stares back the same melancholic moon. But I swear I've never been here for at least a whole waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I've never felt so powerful, yet simultaneously challenged. It's exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. In some ways, the foes of this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. This may sound crazy, but if this castle could somehow sense those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumption is correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy, calling me down further into a trap. I must stay alert. I hope we stop finding those journals. It's hurting my voice. Pally, you don't have to do that voice. Well, I did it once, and now I feel like I have to do it all the time. <laughs> whoa! 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 Come on! Come, come, come on! Ouch! Okay, fuck it! Cast all the spells! <sighs> oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, this time we're entering the castle as an assassin, Sir Wilson. He has hypochondriac. He exaggerates the damage that you take. Uh, that seems like a minor offense. Once again, the forest is the... Oh, no, don't read the journal entries. Let's go, dude. Let's get to the forest. We need to be careful. We need to be patient. And I need to cut there because you guys have seen this castle enough. <laughs> I just took 18. <laughs> 1,800 damage. <laughs> Yeah, okay, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. He hits you really hard. I, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, man. They must suck. Holy shit. How? Wow. You're so impressive. Oh, shit! Okay, am I safe here? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. 
Okay, little mini boss. That guy got very mad. He can't get me over here. Just spend all your mana. Okay, there's an opening. There's an opening. Finish him. <gasps> nice, 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 nice. Blood limbs. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the blood set for your arms. I know exactly what that is. Okay, well, hopefully we can get some mana back. Uh, but very happy with that. Ooh, the attic, though. No, thank you. We need to go down. Okay. Nice and easy. Ooh, kill this archer first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I need to remember I don't have to kill everybody. Especially... Oh, God, we have irritable bowel syndrome. We fart when we jump sometimes. I need to remember I don't have to kill everybody. We're here for a boss, you know? Oh, this room is not what I would call fun. But at least we got some health back on the way out. I think we've only even seen the boss door once for the forest boss. Like, we have not been lucky getting back to it. We're fine until the blood bolt comes back, but I think we might be too... F there's one, there's one. Kill the fire mage. Ah, we can zone. Nailed it! Another fire mage. Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Take no damage. Ow! Fuck! How, why? How does that always happen like that? Defeat all enemies. That's the objective? Okay. The enemies so far aren't that bad. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna leave that alone. No. Oh! Oh, shit! We found the boss room! I wish it was under a little bit more ideal circumstances. But I'm at least gonna show you guys the boss today. Here we go. The Forgotten Alexander! Uh, so, pretty big guy. He stops to cast that shit every now and then. He also spawns a hell of a lot of ads. So those ads can actually be very good depending on your build. Because they give you health back, right? If you have the if you have the siphon set on like we do, they give you a little bit of health back. However, these ads can pile up very quickly. We're actually doing a pretty good job so far, if I do say so myself. Uh, of kiting and controlling the ads, or at least trying to. They are giving us a little bit of mana back as well because of our siphon cape. So we are actually able to cast some more spells. Thought I was stuck in that corner, but kept my 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 head level, you know? We were all right. Unfortunately, that one hit from the boss did quite the number on me. And the ads are starting to pile up. Ooh. 24 health remains. Oh, no. Good, 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 good. Oh, not good, not good, not good. And I wish I, I... I'm just gonna have to kill ads for a little bit. We're gonna have to quell the storm. Which, I mean, when the boss stops like that, that's that's actually good. As long as we're... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Pinned against the wall. That's okay, though. You guys have seen the boss. I did something right. I did something right. Mm, I want to try to unlock... So, ooh, that could be good. You're very talented with a few issues. What does that mean? Okay, let's unlock a new class. The Spell Thief. A Martial Mage. I don't really know what that means. We have 740 gold. The Spell Thief drains mana from the enemies they hit. This grants them access to an infinite supply of mana in the heat of battle. And then we can upgrade them if we get another 2,000. We have 700 gold. The only thing I can see to spend money on is a physical damage increase. Let's go back to the forest. Whoa. Intimidating room. Clearing it no problem though. That feels good. Yeah. Oh, and a full heal. 
found the first boss room literally haven't taken damage yet wow the force should be close ish kind of i think i kind of skipped right over a lot of stuff we don't have really any money to show for this trip over here but like i said at the end of the day we're here to kill a boss dude we're trying to progress through pure pure clear alone we're not trying to farm right now I mean, you could play this game really slowly and, and take your time and full try to full clear everything and, you know, weigh the risk versus reward. But my mindset right now is just to get to the, like, I raid in WoW, right? I do, I do progression raiding in WoW. So, like, I know that I'm going to learn every attempt that I do. And I'm going to get better at something every attempt that I do. So, my mindset right now is I want to get back to that boss just so I can fight again, so I can keep it fresh in my memory, so I can... Ooh. Wait, did my spell change? Oh, is that part of being a savant? Interesting. Take no damage. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, leave that one alone. I'm good, dude. I'm all right. I'm taking a ton of damage now. Need to be careful. Need to be careful. Need to be careful. We can definitely make the health back. But there's no sense in taking any more damage than we have to. I mean, I believe when we get a chicken or a health potion, I believe that the healing is percentage based. Defeat all enemies. Okay. Walked into that. That's not too bad. We, we can do. We, oh god, I have 20 health. Where's the last one? He can't see me. We're okay. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay. Whew. Oh, any blacksmith item or rune? Sky rune. I don't know what that means. Is that jump height? Those are just flat upgrades to our entire account. So. I shouldn't be that upset when we encounter those. I'm gonna try to skip that room because it looks like a nightmare. And I'm gonna kill these things. Nice, we got two chickens. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, even better on the way out. Even better. That looked like we knew what we were doing. I wouldn't say like a professional because I, I'm scared to even watch a speedrunner play this game. Please. Oh, no, no, no. Is it just alive now? No, 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 no. That room's gone. We don't go there anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, we went in there, the painting started moving, and now we don't fucking go in there anymore. <laughs> that seems very logical to me. <laughs> All right, grab the health, grab the health, grab the health, kill that thing. Beautiful. One more, one more. Let's wait till it's in the wall so it despawns. Beautiful. Made it through, no problem. I don't think the boss is in here. In fact, I don't know what the purpose of this room is because there's no chest. So we're just gonna let that one stay there, I think. That guy at the top with his little shield, he ain't hurting nobody. Ooh, these guys might be hurting somebody. Most, Mostly me, they might be hurting me. All right, no more arrows, dude, no more arrows. I'm gonna kill him, because I think I can kill him without taking damage. And I wanted to check that to see if it was a, if it give us a little health back. Dude, where's the boss? Oh no. It's either down and to the left or down and to the right. Which this is the room we skipped because it looked terrifying. We could do this though, especially because we can attack them through the floor. Come to me, fire mages! Try your hand at melee combat! Is that cheating? I feel like we just cheated. Mm, I feel like this guy's gonna... Karma's about to hit me. Isn't it? Nah, dude, we got away with it. Whew. Okay. 
Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. My spell changed again. I mean, that's fine, honestly. The spell changing is fine. I just don't expect it. Especially if it's changing to the sword like that. Like, the sword's very good. I like the sword a lot. So it looks like we've almost full cleared the forest, other than the boss, which is located to the left and down. Nope. Actually, that shouldn't be too bad. Should, should, do we try? What's at the top here? Defeat all enemies. Oh, no. Oh, we can do that. Oh. Oh, my skill. No. My skill changed. Okay, we cannot defeat all enemies. Whoa. Okay, we're fine. Do you think I can attack them? Nope, can't attack them. All right, they're going to live there forever. The boss has to be to the right. And if we can get there, there will be oh, health and mana for us to consume. We'll just keep this guy in the corner. He won't move if we keep hitting him. Although this room doesn't really have anything for me. So if we take any damage at all, it's not worth it. However, you know, when you attack them, they send you flying pretty far. Hey, Santa! Santa's real, kids. He was just in the back. You saw him? Oh, oh watch out, watch out, watch out. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's how you're supposed to kill these guys, by the way. You just kind of dash behind them and hit them in the back. Their shield mitigates quite a lot of damage on top of sending you flying. So if you can get behind them, that's very good to do. Is there a point to changing my spell? I think it's just going to change again, right? This should be the boss room. I was going to say, there can't be much more than what we've already uncovered. Silver limbs! And... Some gold. Dude, did we just full clear the forest? That's a full cleared forest right there for the first... Oh, now we missed a room. All right, here's the plan. We're going to beat up this boss, and then we're going to full clear the forest. <sighs> full health on a barbarian. A little bit of mana. That spell's probably going to change. Let's go, dude. The Forgotten Alexander. Like, that's not terrible damage. It's not great damage. Ooh, some, some meat up there, too. We may just need that. Okay, stay away from him. Now, I think more ads come out the longer the fight goes on. Jump, 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 jump. He's at half health. Or not necessarily the longer the fight goes on, but the lower his health gets. Uh, so, if I can cleave into ads, I'd be very happy. I had a hunch that would go over my head, and it did. That worked out. However, this guy behind me kind of ruined my escape plan. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some height here. Let me grab that chicken. Not looking bad. Oh, no. I didn't know my spell changed. And now I don't have enough mana to cast again. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. Beautiful spell for killing bosses. And unfortunately, I, I think Savant changes my spell whenever I take damage. I don't know. It, at this point, it might be worth trying to take damage just to cycle back. We've killed most of the adds, I feel like. The adds are actually fueling a ton of health for us right now. We could stand. We could stand. Up and over. And Alexander has been... Yo, that's enough money for... Ooh, and a diamond. Thanks, bro. That's enough money for the next money upgrade. Mana increase, mana increase, and max weight load increase as well. And the second key to the locked door has been unlocked. That means the next area for us to start progressing through is going to be the attic. You know, slowly but surely. We didn't, the, the attic's kind of scary. 
I might do some runs where we're just trying to full clear these again just to get a little bit of mana back but Alexander has been defeated that feels pretty good we'll go see what this last room is so we can also say that we full cleared the forest I'm kind of upset that I have the most success with Barbarian still when I am trying, you know, really hard to be more mage focused. It's just they're so tanky. It makes life so much easier. Did I nail it? Oh! Well, I, I, I mean, we don't have to end the run here. I guess I'll go start full clearing the castle. Hello, little secret room. I know your secrets. Look at this ridiculous ass shit. Oh no, are we gonna die here? Are we gonna die in the base castle? Oh my god. Ugh. I at least made it to the item. The vampire groom for the helm. And it lets you go right back to the start. The run may continue. Oh my god. The, the health thing, I forgot it was there. I'm so glad I left that. I mean, truth be told, I've just kind of been knocking this out. As you would expect, right? If we can full clear the forest, we can full clear the castle. Take no damage. Did we already ruin this one? I said I was going to use my other controller and I forgot. Yeah. Let's get some practice in anyway. I like double jump there. Oof. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, big man! Oh, God! Okay. Just keep dodging. Oh, my spell changed. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. You see that fucking skill there, boys? You see that fucking skill there, boys? Stay on him. Woo! 13 health. The squire cape has been unlocked. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. Oh, almost died to the painting. Give me that health, dude. Give me that health. We're fighting back. We're fighting back slowly, but... Oh, shit. You don't belong there. You're an attic enemy. Look at all these enemies Sir driving. Beat down, dude. Snuffed them out. Proud of them. Our most profitable run to date. Uh, let's go with an Archmage, probably. Uh, let's also pick up the third gold increase. God, I was going to lose my mind if I could also buy the, the fourth one, but we're pretty far away from that. 7,930 gold. We just achieved 10,000, so we could definitely do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade the spell thief as well. Ride the vortexes of magic and turn your spell thieves into spell swords. Press Y to cast empowered spells. We haven't actually uh, rolled a spell sword yet, so I haven't actually tried it. Turn your spell swords, turn your spell, thie spell thieves into spell swords and grant yourself the power of summoning empowered spells. You call that an axe? This is an axe. This is a knife. And vulnerability time up, that could be very good. Mana cost down. Wow, that is valuable. Especially if we're playing as a mage. Randomized children. Use the power of science to make a whole new batch. That's very powerful, too, if we don't like what we rolled. Um, but if we can make it so each spell we cast as a mage, as an archmage, costs less mana, then when we kill stuff and get mana back, that mana back that we're getting is even more valuable. That's very good. Uh, we're going to try to max that out as soon as we can. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. The Attic is our next destination. I don't know how well we're going to do, but we're going to try. Take care, everyone. See you again next time. I have recorded five episodes today, I think. Ooh, this game's fun.